this class we are discussing about avalanche breakdown uh, when we are doing what is this avalanche breakdown when we are doing a pn junction diode and i am connecting this pn junction diode in reverse bias negative terminal of the battery is connected to the p type semiconductor and the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the <laughs> now this diode is connected in reverse bias if i am taking this diode a lightly doped as you p type semiconductor is lightly doped we are adding only few boron atoms or few trivalent atoms so this is lightly doped and n type semiconductor is lightly doped we are adding only few phosphorus or arsenic or bismuth pentavalent atoms we are adding only few so this is lightly doped and this is also lightly doped because these p and n type semiconductors are lightly doped the formal diode depletion region with these more that's we have already seen so this formal depletion region with these more and this electric field intensity is less the electric field formed here does not have the capability to break the covalent bonds in the depletion region or this electric field does not have the capacity to give the energy to the electrons in the covalent bonds to get them out from the covalent bonds so then how the current will occur in the avalanche breakdown in generally the reverse bias current is due to minority carriers what are these minority carriers the minority carriers are whenever we are giving the thermal energy or whenever we are giving light energy or sound energy a pure semiconductor the electrons in the covalent bonds come out and because of that electrons and holes are formed so these minority carriers are not formed due to doping that's we have already seen when we when we discussed about the intrinsic semiconductor so these minority carriers even though the potential barrier is there even though the depletion region is there these minority carriers are moving freely because of only one factor that these minority carriers are moving in the direction of the electric field so electric field is helping them to move so because of this minority carriers are moving now i want to increase the velocity of the minority carriers is such case is possible as whenever i am increasing the voltage the battery then the minority carriers are moving with greater velocities assume if electron from this p type semiconductor a minority carrier is moving from left to right side with some velocity and i am increasing the voltage then the same electron moves with the higher velocity this electron which is moving with the very high speed has the capability to hit the electron in the covalent bond in the depletion region because of this higher velocity electron which is hitting the electron in the covalent bond then the electron in the covalent bond comes out leaving a hole so every electron which is moving with a higher velocity is hitting a electron in the covalent bond and this electron coming out and because of this field this electron also accelerated and this electron hits the another electron in the covalent bond this is a chain action one electron is hitting another two electrons and another two electrons are hitting another two electrons likewise the electrons are increasing because of which the current is tremendously increasing if this process happens this is called as ionization by collision here the ionization is not due to the electrostatic field the electrostatic field does not have the capability here to give the energy to the electrons in the covalent bonds but this process is being done by the velocity how the velocity is being incremented with the applied voltage so whenever we are incrementing the voltage the electrons are getting higher velocities they are moving with the higher velocities they are accelerating this accelerated electron is hitting the electron in a covalent bond thereby this electron is coming out and it, it, it is hitting another electron in another covalent bond 
this process is accumulated process and because of this fuse current is observed this breakdown is called as avalanche breakdown so finally we are saying if the applied voltages are more for a avalanche breakdown to occur the voltages that we are giving should be more and the diode we are taking is a lightly doped diode this is the avalanche breakdown